are having a very beta weekend. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is here. And uh, as many of you know, uh, Call of Duty fans, uh, we don't get a chance to play as many betas as we should when it comes to the Call of Duty franchise. Treyarch, uh, nice enough to allow to engage. And uh, first and foremost, this game, lots and lots of fun. We've been playing for a couple days now. We got about a day left before they take away our hot rod. So uh, I I'm, I'm gonna start off and just say first and foremost, not, not advanced warfare. Yeah, I mean, it, it absolutely feels like Call of Duty, but you're right, it is not Advanced Warfare. So if you're looking for that speed, Advanced Warfare was very, very fast. It was very ambitious. It, it did a lot of things that we've never seen in a Call of Duty before. And a lot of that is gone, so that might bother some of you guys. But I, I think it's kind of exciting, you know, the fact that this game is a little bit slower. By all means, it's not a slow game. This game is a lot of is really really fast. You just saw me a couple of moments ago run on a wall and shoot somebody in the face. It's still very fast, but yeah, it's not as quick as Advanced Warfare. So that might bug some people, but I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. So no no uh, exosuit, you know no um, uh, no T Rex punches. The melee <laughs> system is a hundred percent different. We have uh, the sure. melee now takes two hits. To kill someone, yeah. How so do you feel about that's that? gonna affect. Let me ask you. How do you feel about that? I, the problem is, like, it's. I know it's smarter, but the other part of me is like, I've hit somebody in the face, and it feels like I'm a weakling when I do it. Like I'm like, he's like, boom. Oh, they didn't do nothing. I'm just gonna shoot you now. Like it just feels that. Like I wish it wasn't that way, but it also is gonna make the gameplay better. We have to uh, a little, plan a little bit better on our guns. We have to plan a little bit better on our, our gameplay. Um, so that's something that we really are going to notice more. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, man. I really like the way that they uh, handle melee now. Um, that's always been a problem with Call of Duty for me personally. I love Call of Duty. I play it all the time. Uh, but it's super annoying when you are mowing down somebody with an AK-47 in a corridor. You shoot them like two or three times and they manage to run up on you and punch you in the face and all of a sudden they kill you. They get the kill and you, and you die. They kind of remedy that because it kind of forces you to start using your guns a little bit more. And uh, that's one of the things that I really like about this beta so far. It is very gun oriented. They want you to use the guns. They want you to be good with the guns. If you're an assault rifle guy, you want to be an assault rifle guy. If you're a, a, a semi, a, a, a submachine gun guy, they want you to get close. If you're a shotgun guy, I, I will say the shotguns are a little bit OP and I hope that they change that. Uh, when the game does get to full release here in about a month and a half. But they want it to be a, a gun-focused game, and that's what it should be. It's a first-person shooter. You hear that in the, in the name of the genre. So let's shoot. Let's not punch. It's not a first-person puncher. And I like it. I like it a lot. I would like to play a first person puncher actually. If they, if they could title it that, that'd be awesome. Uh, another thing is you are going to very much use uh, your extras. You're going to use your flash, your concussion. Like it's part of the gameplay now that we you just got to plan on using. It makes a big difference because now uh, in, in the past when you had advanced warfare, you just flew past grenades, you flew past concussion and all that stuff. You didn't have to worry about it. It was behind you. Now we are in the world of... Um, uh, Black Ops 3 where you're a little bit slower so things can be planned out just a little bit more um, and, and, and you know I think that's what they wanted to because having a two-hit melee means you can't go around every corner willy-nilly just hoping that you can you know drop the guy before he drops you with a punch so um, I'm, I'm really happy about it I, I'm really happy with um, the gameplay I'm happy with uh, the speed I'm happy with uh, the fact that now in um, party mode you can actually choose uh, you can actually choose uh, your friends and add them in uh, without uh, having to that extra step of going out of it into PS4's uh, joining screen so uh, that's something I really do enjoy um, some of the players we're looking at so far like right now I am this Russian girl who uses a bow and arrow as one of her specials along with some, uh, some other stuff uh, Ransom, are you the guy with the gravity spikes? I'm the guy with the gravity spikes I use, it's the character that really I use at E3 ass. I really like the gravity spikes I feel like it's uh, it, it's really fun to use it's very powerful um, but yeah I really I, I really like him I, 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 I do need to I, I gotta be honest I do Don't. have to UAV play around with some involved. other people but it's just like any other Call of Duty. I, I get my own, you know, my own comfort zone, and I kind of stay there. So, 
I really should try yeah, to Yeah, I'm actually, uh, at, at E3, I gotta play the, uh, the robot guy, and he looks, um, he's just so much fun. Smoke, check. His arm turns into a big old gun, and I think he also has this thing where he, um, goes and, uh, kind of disseminates himself into, like, five other people, like these little visual no clones that uh, people have to shoot at and you have to find the right one to kill the guy. So there's a lot of things like that. Um, really quickly, the one thing I do want to mention as well, if you're looking at the screen, um, as we've got into uh, Advanced Warfare and a lot of these other, uh, you know, more future shooters, uh, the screen has gotten a lot busier than it used to be. Uh, I, for one, am not a huge fan of having things pop up all over, mostly because I play pretty quickly and I, I, I rely on my peripheral vision. So if things are popping up all over the place, that means that, I, like, I'm looking at everything and I don't get a chance to pay attention to either my sights or uh, at one point so far this weekend someone flew in directly in the middle right where so right where uh, they gave me an award for I don't know first kill or something Head else so or something, yeah yeah, headshot. So now, so now that award is essentially blocking the gameplay. So you know, you spent the time making a good game. Let me play it. Let me enjoy the the full width and breadth of it. So that's one one little thing I want to make. I want to make a point of. The other thing is spawning still needs to be fixed a little bit. It is better, but these maps are a little smaller than the maps we're used to with Advanced Warfare. There is one very large one in this beta, and there's some other medium to small ones we've seen so far. Um, I just want to make sure that we we pay. Attention attention to the spawning because I spawned into the middle of a stream of bullets already uh, this weekend I've spawned right next to an enemy's uh, it's called a talon it's essentially a turret on a, a hovering turret that they can control so there's a lot of those things that I, I really want to I'm gonna send some notes in I'm gonna send some bullet points in and everyone if you have thoughts or ideas feel free to do it this beta weekend send in whatever thoughts or ideas you can to Treyarch because we need to make it as good as we can before the opening day and these discs are written you know Absolutely, but b besides that little complaint about the screen being br really busy, is there anything else that you don't like about this game so far? Um, I feel like the, the game is really good. I feel that uh, there are a, a little bit of differences. I don't know if it's just the laggy, the lag we're getting this weekend. So some, so many people are on. Um, I don't know if uh, the, the addition of uh, Call of Duty to Rocket League has essentially. <laughs> froze out PlayStation Network, but it's it's probably a, a, a consideration for sure. Um, we just we just want to uh, make sure that uh, uh, that the gameplay is timed out correctly. Uh, there there have been some stutter steps, things like that. So, um, and then uh, one other quick note is just the fact that uh, I enjoy Treyarch for making this game and for mature and and sticking by. You know, we see blood, we see. Uh, we see some uh, excessive foul language, and uh, you know that's what you should get when it comes to a game where you're shooting and killing no people. Kill. It, it definitely earns its M for mature rating. You know, like uh, I just killed somebody a little while ago, and it says "smoke that effort." You know, yeah. uh, <laughs> and it, and it's great. You know, like this is this is a game that should be for adults. I know that it's always been a problem with Call of Duty where you, you get into a lobby and you learn a couple of racial terms from a 12-year-old. But yeah, I mean, like. Treyarch's not afraid to make these games for Battery adults. Uh, you get shot with an explosive bow and arrow. Your whole Zero body down. explodes. I'm sure that we're going to see some crazy available. stuff when Zombies does become available. And uh, yeah, that's one of the things that I really, really uh, respect and love about this studio. Uh, I really have been enjoying the beta. I can't wait for the game. This is a day one purchase for me. Uh, very excited for it. Yeah, same here. You know, if you want uh, a clean shooter for your kid, I would, I guess, go with Splatoon probably. <laughs> yeah. Go to Nintendo, keep it over there. That's probably your your number one option on that side. But if you want, if you're serious about your gameplay, and so far, uh, you know, playing this beta, it really shows me that what the game is and what to expect. Because uh, there are times when I want a game to be so much more, but, you know, I think they really planned out a lot of what, we, what they want it to be and what, you know, we should expect from it. So um, I'm excited. I'm giving it a thumbs up for sure. I'm gonna buy this game, um, and uh, I'm I'm excited to see what they what they bring to it. Uh, the expansions on this game, uh, just so you know, are can be a lot of things because initially they don't have. Uh, a lot of stuff like Advanced Warfare where you have all the different exo colors and the different um one second, I'm killing three guys in a row, which I just did. <laughs> that um, was I saw your name pop up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, but I mean, you won't get a chance to change exos, change colors, do all these different things. You can give a paint job to your gun so far, but we don't know the extent of detailing they're going to allow when it comes to Black Ops 3. Which, you know, is fun and all, and it gives a little personality, especially when they, uh, uh, they kept on moving and trying to come up with different ideas for everything. Uh, I, I actually just want them to spend more time on the gameplay, making sure this is here. Instead of thinking of 20 new backpacks for me to wear with Hello Kitty on it, I'd rather you just throw me a new map if possible. You know, figure out another gameplay that we can use. Um, you know, I, I've had a lot of a lot of fun with what we have right now, but there are times in Advanced Warfare when I was really pissed off. Uh, and I'm just going to say pissed off altogether because of the, uh, the choices they made. Um, and some of the things, but they sp and also because they spend so much time on other things. I, I, I really want the gameplay to be number one. I want maps to be something that's just, you know, blowing us away. I, I, I'll, I'll take the same gray... You could give me sweats for all I care. If you can give me more maps and more options for gameplay, you've got a fan for life. Oh, cool. Well, there you have it, guys. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 going to be available uh, here in about a month and a half. Feel free to let you, uh, let us know what you guys think about the beta in the comments. And uh, again, thanks for listening and thanks for watching.